Hi folks, it's John Eisman from LastChanceAutoStore.com. We have another completed project that we'd like to just share with you and do a brief walk around to show some of the features of this. It's a very rare vehicle. It's a 1955 Ford F100 panel, or some people refer to it as a delivery van. So we, we found this for our client as, a, um, as an abandoned project. It was just partially done. So what I'd like to do is just briefly uh, do a little walk around presentation just to show you all the work that we did on this particular vehicle because it's uh, just about ready for delivery now. So um, you can see in the front what we've done is we have the original crests from Ford in 1955. Um, we've changed the front grille to match the, the logos and the decals that we have. So uh, this is almost like an almond color that we painted the front grille as opposed to an off-white. Uh, the bumpers, we repaired those and painted them gloss black. We've improved the headlights. We went with just the, um, from the normal headlight or sealed beam to a halogen sealed beam. And obviously we have low and high beam uh, with an all new wiring harness. And then we have the marker signal lights down below. Um, as we come over this side of the vehicle, you can see we have uh, new wiper blades and arms that are chrome. Uh, there's new rubber, there's new mirrors on the sides and new weather stripping. Um, we've upgraded the wheels and tires. So uh, this, this vehicle normally came with a 14 inch uh, rim and a really skinny tire. And our client wants to not only have to take this to shows, but also make it very nice to drive on the highway uh, up and down the 401 and so on. So what we've done is we've upgraded the size to a 15 inch wheel. They're a rally style wheel. And you'll notice we've painted them the same almond cream color to match their logos. A uh, little bit of detail work in terms of the chrome trim rings. We were able to find through our supplier the grooved trim rings and then grooves on the moons or center caps. And we put a little bit of detail. We have matching pinstripe to go around to kind of tie it all in. And our client really liked the idea of having the wide white wall tires. So these were a special order. Um, and these are a, a large 15 inch tire and they're made by BF Goodrich. So it's their top of the line tire in the wide white wall. So not only does it give you the appearance of old stock, um, but it'll give you a really nice ride being a, a true uh, all season radial tire. So the traction will be really nice. And being a 15 inch wider tire, um, the wheels I believe are an are a eight inch wheel. So it'll give you lots, uh, much better traction and braking with this particular setup here. As we come down the side, you'll see we have the stripes the way they would like it. Uh, it has their logos, which they're promoting their apple cider product. And it uh, looks like it's back in time in terms of uh, the way it's set up like a delivery vehicle. So on the inside, what we've done is we have new chrome handles and trim. When we open the door, you can see it's just a really nice clean layout. So on the dash, I think you can see it from that angle. What we've done is we've, uh, we have an aftermarket high polished aluminum bezel. We have brand new dolphin gauges. So we have all the gauges set up and hooked in. The speedometer is electronic or digital, which we have programmed. And we have a complete new wiring harness. And I think if you uh, go down a little bit, you can see in the firewall, we have the upgraded um, fuses and all of the nice wires are all tucked away. And uh, it's a Rebel wiring harness, which we've, uh, we're quite happy with. It's very similar to the painless wiring harness where all the wires are color coded and marked. And then we have it all zip tied up and everything is clearly marked and put out of the way. Um, in terms of the steering wheel, we went with the original steering wheel for the look. We have an aftermarket uh, signal light assembly because this vehicle wasn't equipped with signals in 1955. So we have obviously the right and the left for turning and uh, with this setup, it doesn't have an auto click feature. So when you turn left and you complete your turn, you do have to manually bring the lever back up. And uh, that's the way it was back in the day. And then you'll see we've clearly labeled for ignition, the wiper, the lights, there's a fan and also the horn is up on the dash. Um, and then we also added an auxiliary outlet. I think you can see it from there. Just to the right of the horn, uh, we add an auxiliary outlet. Right now there's just a lighter plugged in there. So our client will be able to plug in cell phone, laptops, and that sort of thing. Um, you'll see down below the dash in the far right hand side, this vehicle when we purchased it, did not have a heater box or fan control. So we were able to locate one and uh, we, we basically rebuilt it or refurbished it and we hooked it up so we have a fan now for ventilation. And then we've also added a sun visor for the driver 
being a panel vehicle, they only come, they came with one visor and it was an option. Um, so we have the visor again and then a new chrome mirror. You'll notice on the doors, we've got uh, door jam switches here. And you'll notice there's a cargo light um, up in the roof on the interior. So every time you go to open the door, that light will come on. The courtesy light will come on and when obviously the door is shut, it will close. Uh, you'll notice down in the floor we've got the dimmer switch for the high and low beam which is just to the left of the steering column. Um, so you've got the high and low for the switch. We have the parking brake handle here which we have uh, which is fully operational. Um, you see the nice setup there. We got a really nice floor mat which is a period cl correct floor mat and also the firewall insulation and it's a hard ABS plastic uh, filler. You'll see on the side those kick panels. We've made those and it has some stainless screws uh, holding the kick panels on on both sides just to finish off the inside a little bit. Um, the gear shifter, this vehicle was originally a three on a tree. We've changed it now obviously because it has the um, a Ford 302 V8 uh, with a four speed automatic transmission. So this whole setup um, we got from low car. So it's a low car shifter and it's really nice because at the bottom that plate which is brushed aluminum it has a digital window which we've programmed so when you go to put it into gear not only does the button on the top indicate reverse neutral and drive but it also lights up there's an LED light uh, that lights up in that smoked glass window just to uh, assure what what gear our clients will be in um, so you can see it's all new glass we've got new windshield new side glass uh, most of the chrome is new, the handles and bezels and so on. Uh, we're quite happy with the seat. The vehicle came without a seat. Our client suggested just to have maybe a, a blanket or something over it, but we thought we'd want to finish it off and tie it all in. So you'll notice that the red material, it's period correct style. Um, so we, we basically um, have matched the colors of our client's exterior of the truck. Uh, to the inside and then we've added these seat belts because once again this vehicle wasn't equipped with seat belts in 55. So it looks period correct but everything has been upgraded in terms of, of gauges, the disc power disc brake conversion kit in the front, uh, the suspension is a little bit softer um, and then having some nice things like having the, the plug-in in the dash for an auxiliary outlet um, and then a comfortable seat with extra padding and then the added seat belts and a courtesy light. So they're just some nice features that we kind of added as we went to do this build. You'll notice we've got all new weather stripping inside the doors. Um, we've got the, the running boards here, the step up running boards, and shut that door. Um, you, we've maintained the original filler for the fuel, so the fuel gets filled up here. Uh, the tank is underneath, and we have a new fuel gauge and sending unit that communicates with the new dolphin gauge set, so it's very accurate in terms of how much fuel it has. As we come down the side, you can see uh, the bodywork that we did on it. There's lots of curves and, uh, and different shapes going on, so it was quite challenging in terms of uh, doing the block sanding and all of the bodywork to have it really nice and straight. Um, so we've done a considerable amount of block sanding, and then this paint is a specific paint color that we created uh, for Molson to match the specific color that they would like for their promotional vehicle. Same thing with this cream or beige or almond color that we painted the wheels and the grill to match the vinyl. This is a color that we match specifically to their needs. So as you come around the side of the vehicle, you'll notice obviously uh, the same fancy wheels on the back as the front. Um, we come around the back of the vehicle. Uh, we have new chrome handle, new seals, uh, new glass also in the back panel. Um, the tail lights, these are a stock housing but we went with the upgraded jewel uh, tail light instead of having because the tail lights are so small we upgraded uh, the bulb so instead of being a normal incandescent bulb we went with an led bulb so it reacts much quicker and it's like i believe they advertise it as 10 times brighter so if it's foggy or very dark conditions what we wanted to do is have a little bit brighter tail lights for them um, when they're going from event to event so it'll have the jewel uh, with the reflective lens, it's the glass lens, which are really hard to find, um, and LED bulbs, which is really handy. Um, we also have a license plate light underneath this, uh, which will turn on, obviously, at, uh, when we turn the lights on. And then uh, we found a, a bumper uh, that was in very rough condition, and we redid the bumper and painted it high gloss black to match the front bumper. 
and then when you open the, the back, um, you can see this is the normal uh, setting just for quick kind of deliveries where you open and close the doors. Um, if they have something wider or larger to load and unload for display purposes, you simply just push, sorry, push this lever forward and then both doors will open up wide. So then you have a true delivery or dock style truck which will back up further, uh, give you a lot more room for loading and unloading. You can see on the inside, beautiful uh, wood floor uh, with stainless hardware. Uh, one of the things that they, they required as a display vehicle, because they're going to be doing quite a few, uh, quite a bit of driving with this, is we, uh, we have a spare tire that matches the four tires. Once again, BF Goodridge, uh, really wide white walls with really nice uh, all season tread. And then we made a mount for it and mounted that spare tire out of the way. Um, and you'll see obviously the seat belts are mounted correctly through uh, support in the subframe. And another nice touch uh, inside is normally these lower panels are exposed. So if you're loading and unloading this particular vehicle, um, uh, damage can be done what they call outies. So if you're loading and unloading things and if they slide over, um, without these barriers here, they will uh, poke into the exterior of the body panels and, and create a lot of little dings and pings. We didn't want them to have that, obviously, so um, we, we, uh, we have these with the nice hardware to screw them all in. And then we finished it off with this sealer here just to outline the wood because there's a little bit of gap in the floor. Uh, this normally would have had pine strips of boards, uh, but we went with this really nice um, uh, treated uh, plywood and there's several coats of varathane to protect it and then we've sealed that off. So it's kind of a nice presentation. Um, most of the, the display for this vehicle is uh, strictly the exterior. They weren't too concerned about the inside because uh, we were told they're not going to be using the inside as a display kind of vehicle. But we just wanted to finish it off on the inside too because um, it looks so nice here. As we come around this side, you'll see a really nice contour of the body with the sun shining. You can see this is single stage paint. Um, so it's more period correct paint. Uh, that they would use back in 55. We did a custom exhaust system and we thought this was a nice touch to have um, a triple plated chrome tailpipe coming out uh, the side here and it's kind of out of the way. Typically there would be a small pipe that would be coming out uh, behind the bumper here but because they're going to be going to different shows we didn't want to have the risk of, of a tailpipe uh, getting whacked with their shins. So we thought this was a better location over here on the side. So appearance wise you can see it's a really nice clean vehicle. When you stand back um, I think it's going to work really well for them as a promotional vehicle. You can see it just needs a little bit of cleaning. We just uh, we put some test miles on it and it's almost ready to go um, to be delivered and, and to be on the show circuit. So once again it's a 1955 Ford F100 panel van and I'm John from LastChanceAllRestore.com. We encourage you to visit our website, and uh, we'd love to hear from you. So if you'd like to make some comments, uh, we encourage you to, to leave a comment. Uh, thanks again for watching.